follow-up question to this, and maybe we'll, we'll break that answer and, and, and start into this one. Um, there's a, a question about uh, drafting 2D details. So we just talked about uh, creating um, some of these, adding these like structural elements to the model, but um, we also have the ability to add a detail of it. So for instance, um, if I want to add a detail of like this, um, you know, whatever I, uh, this, this uh, structural member I just added, well, maybe what I would do is, I, I might even start with like a section cut. Um, I would go like, uh, I would just add like a simple section cut through what, through that area. And then I would right click on my section cut. See, this is my active cut. Right click, create group from slice, all right? And then I'm gonna delete that. Sorry, um, uh, let's see, right click, create group from slice, and then I'm gonna delete that section cut. All right, and then I'm gonna turn off my section cuts. So see this piece right here? This is really helpful, right? That just made like a little vector um, vector detail of what we've got going on. I could have had my roof turned on too. That would have been helpful, but um, not, not totally critical. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Let's see, F6, um, get our roof turned on, uh, right click, create group from slice. F6 is my shortcut to turn these off. All right, so that way we've got our roof. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this thing. I'm gonna rotate, click and drag, and we're gonna lay this right down on the ground, uh, 90 degrees, and I'm gonna take this, and what layer did that end up on? It should be layer zero, all right? Um, and then we're gonna go into draft mode. And let's see, draft mode is where, I always forget, yeah, layer zero is turned off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to explode this, all right? So now this just becomes all dumbed down just a bunch of lines and geometry. And I'm gonna put all of this on one of our draft mode layers. I'm gonna put it on um, medium, all right, like that. So see it disappeared out of design mode. But now what I can do is click on draft mode and see here's my, my uh, draft mode. What this does is it, it restricts my movements. If I push on the scroll wheel button, it keeps me in this 2D, uh, uh, 2D plan view uh, all of my tools still work, but like, check it out. If I want to draw a line, see, everything is in this color by layer. So it's just like 2D CAD. If I want to switch my line weight, all I do is click on this button in our Condoc system, and it switches to a different color by layer. All right, so it makes it really, really quick and easy to move through here and, um, you know, draft this thing up. So uh, let's see. So I don't need any of this. Uh, the other thing I would do is I would use my match properties tool. So my match properties tool, I can sample, um, uh, this is like the, the finest line weight, then, uh, then uh, light and then medium and then heavy and then uh, extra heavy or whatever I'm calling them. So anyway, maybe like uh, I would take the extra heavy and then I would apply that, you know, I can click and drag and apply that layer to like my slab, right? And then I would take like, um, maybe I would hold uh, alt, oops, hold alt, sample this one, and maybe that's gonna go to my walls, right? Like that, and, and then this is that structural piece. Um, so you can start really filling in the details, you know, maybe you wanna do like, um, uh, you know, make a copy of this off by like 0.5, uh, and you know, draw in your sheathing. I mean, you can really go nuts on it and make the detail that you need, all right? Um, then we've also included with Condoc, I've got a couple of these details that you can just drag and drop in just to see how it works. Um, let me explode that. All right, so all of this stuff, like that, and all right, so there we go. Cool, and then you use your uh, detail tool. All right, so um, I would just go to Condoc, detail. I click once, it rattles off the six different scenes that I need to create a detail. So you can see it just flipped all the layers on and off, set my view, named my scenes, uh, assigned styles, did a lot of work for me, all right? So if I go to File and choose Save, I can now hop into Layout, and maybe I'm gonna add a sheet, you know? Say like, okay, uh, on this page, I wanna add a detail. Same process, I'm gonna go to um, our Condoc 3.0 Details, and at this point, I'm gonna drag and drop detail number one, uh, here's uh, drawing number one, and uh, we're gonna go with like a uh, one and a half inch detail, like that, all right? 
and then maybe I'll just throw a three quarter inch detail just to show you. Uh, basically, all of the, the line weights, they ramp up. So like on the smaller scales, uh, the line weights scale down. On the, the bigger scales, the line weights scale up to really just right out of the box, give you a look that is gonna have a ton of different line weights. Um, I, it, I find it to be very helpful. So uh, file document setup, relink this file. And so this is gonna go right back to our garage. That's on our desktop temp and we've got garage. All right, so then sometimes you just have to say update to jog it into place. And let's see if this works for us. So we'll close that. All right, so you can see this is our three quarter inch detail. This is our, um, what is it, one and a half. And I can just stretch these things around. You know, it's really easy just to say like, all right, you know, I wanna only maybe focus on this part and position that on my page. Uh, go back to your annotations, throw your drawing title. And on this one, maybe we'll focus on that structural detail like that. And say, you know, whatever that is. So you can see line weights coming through. On this one, they're not super prevalent because I was using two close line weights, but you got this line weight, this line weight. But over here, you can see how, like I really took some time to draft this thing and, and add all these different line weights. So, um, you know, this came out in version three of Condoc. That was a big deal to, to have draft mode. Really answers that question of like, how do I communicate uh, it, within industry graphic standards? You have to have a 2D drafting tool. So Condoc is truly a CAD replacement. Uh, this does everything you're gonna need to um, explain things with diagrams um, exactly the way you used to. You can import your old details, whip them into shape very quickly. I think we covered that a couple months ago, importing and, and swapping out the layers. Um, so it really revives uh, your old uh, you know, library of standard details. Um, what I like about it is it's just a, a familiar way of doing things. It's, it gets the job done. I want to build the whole space in 3D, but I don't want to build every little connection in 3D. So this is, uh, this is the way you work around it. Um, not work around, this is just the way you do it. This is the drafting program embedded right into SketchUp. Um, you could also use like vignettes, you know, you could say like, hey, I'm gonna build a one-off model of this situation and create that 3D uh, detail. Nothing wrong with that either, but uh, with Conduct, you've got a solution for everything. So I hope that does help answer your question.